Hi guys, this is Goki here and I hope you guys are doing really great and today we're going to talk about something interesting on plants. So how many of you really wondered whether plants can talk to each other? If they really want to talk, what would they talk about? And how would they really communicate with each other? So we're going to check it out in this video. So please tune in. In 1983, there were two scientists, Jack and Ian. They brought this maple tree samplings and planted next to each other. And then the one of them was a healthy plant and the other one was an unhealthy plant. And this healthy plant somehow started to increase its defense mechanism. And this unhealthy plant is transmitting some kind of chemicals in the air which the healthy plant, this plant, receives them and interprets that there is some kind of threat in the nearby area. And this paper was submitted by these two scientists but the plant community rejected and ignored them. But this didn't stop right over there. It continued and in 2000, there was one more plant researcher, Karban. He did another experiment. So he took a tobacco plant and kept it near a sagebrush plant. And then he intentionally clipped or cut the few, you know, few leaves of this sagebrush plant. And then this plant thought that there is some kind of attack by an insect or a bug or any herbivore. And then it starts immediately to send some kind of signal through the organic compounds, the chemical compounds which floats in the air and this receives them. The healthy tobacco plant receives these signals, interprets it and increases its defense mechanism. And this paper was submitted and later it was accepted by the plant community. And the researcher Karban also stated that these chemical compounds can travel up to 60 centimeter in air. Another interesting research is done by uh, Ariel Novoplansky who belongs to Israel uh, nationality and he thinks that plants communicate with each other through the root systems. So to, you know, to conduct an experiment, he took six garden tea plants and planted each one of them in each pot. And he also made sure that each pot, each plant on a pot has two roots of the neighboring plants so that all the plants are connected together and interact with each other. And now he intentionally created a drought like situation in one pot, one plant in one pot. And then that plant started closing its pores on its leaves. He measured them through the microscope. And later after 15 minutes, the neighboring plants, the two neighboring plants started reacting the same way. It started closing down their pores. It was shocking result for him and after one hour all the neighboring plants all the six plants started reacting in the same way no so what he did right now is just to discommunicate the root system so he removed all the roots and made sure that none of the plants is communicating with each other i mean through the root system and now the pores started opening up and now he concludes yes plants do communicate with each other through the root systems. So that was another interesting research and the paper was submitted as well. How many of you really like your neighbors? Few of us are not in sync with your neighbors, uh, occasionally brushing up with them. Uh, so it does happen with the plants as well. But the plants can't move from one place to the other. So they have to be in one place and react to the situation. So how would they react? So if one leaves, you know, leaves of one plant brushes the other then this things so aggressively and it diverts all its resources from its root to the branch and to the stem and leaves so that it, you know, it, it grows uh, longer, taller, healthier than the neighboring plants. That's the response these kind of plants would do. And this has been research uh, st uh, study and uh, uh, the results have proven that when plants are put under a stressful neighboring uh, neighbors, yes, they grow aggressive. Another interesting research study is that when a plant receives a chemical uh, signal uh, from another neighboring plants, then this healthy plants increases its defense mechanism, right? So what would it really do is it starts secreting some kind of chemicals which makes its leaves, you know, less tasty and less nutrient. So when the bugs, you know, when they come near the plants and they start eating out, biting out all these leaves, they might feel a little bit less nutrient and less, you know, tasty. And so the bugs actually move out of the healthy plant. So this is another way of how healthy plants increases defense mechanisms, which was actually, you know, the information communicated from its neighbors. There were two more scientists, plant researchers, Ryan and Farmer. They took a sagebrush, which is infected. And this plant starts emitting methyl jasmonate, an organic compound in the air, and they put it onto a box. and. They also had tomato plant in the box as well. And this tomato plant 
started secreting some kind of chemicals which typically upsets the digestive system of bugs if they eat uh, you know if they eat any part of the plant oh, wow that is quite amazing and that's very aggressive and a smart move yes plants might be brainless but they are very thoughtful and it's so wonderful that they communicate with each other so if you have any thoughts about it please do drop in the comments below and thank you for watching see you soon bye bye